internationalization add-ons for Concrete 5 give you all the tools that you need to successfully manage running a site in multiple languages. Now I've put together this little demo site. It's just two pages, a home page and an about this website page. And I've installed the internationalization add-ons, both the free and the enterprise one. Uh, and you can see already out of the gate, there's some uh, clear differences. Uh, we've got this language selector button here in the Concrete 5 editing toolbar. And we also have a choose language block on the page. So I'm going to go into the about page. And you can see I can use this little option here to jump to the same page in a different language. Now, if I'm an admin, this is tremendously helpful as I'm going about translating the site. I may not have actually done all the content on this page. They all look the same. It's really hard to know if I'm in the French version of a page or the English as I'm still translating content. So knowing where you're at uh, really helps. Uh, site visitors, of course, may get to a page deep in your site and want to see that same page in a different language. And this block lets them do that. I can simply pick a country flag and it'll switch me over to that same page uh, in whichever language you choose. So it's the exact functionality that people would expect out of a truly multilingual website. So let's see what's going on behind the scenes. We'll go into the dashboard here and I'll show you how to add a new language. There's the multilingual tab down here and we'll get there in a second, but first let me show you how the pages are set up for this. What we're doing is we're actually creating a whole tree for each language. Uh, the reason that we chose to go this way is really flexibility. Um, it never worked on a multilingual project where there wasn't one language that didn't want the site to be slightly different than all the rest of them. Uh, maybe you don't have press releases in China yet. Maybe you don't sell all of your products in Germany. Um, whatever you may think initially in architecture, uh, by the time you get to launching the site, you're going to have exceptions. And it's better to have a nice structure to deal with them. Uh, so, so each one of those multi-language sites can mature in their own way while you sh still share what assets make sense to share. So let's go ahead and add um, Russian to this site. First thing we're going to do is make a home page for Russian to live within. So I've gone to the root and I'm just going to add a page type and give it the name home in Russian and the RU alias, which is the country or the, excuse me, the language code for Russian. And we're just doing this quickly. So I'll just add the page. And you can see it kind of looks like uh, it should, you know, here's Ville coming in German. Here's whatever that is in Russian, uh, but it doesn't have anything in it. There's no country flag. It's not really done. So if we go over here to multilingual, we can set that up as a language and create some tools to make it easier for us to manage things over time. So here is a huge list of languages. This comes from the Zend locale library. And if I jump down to the R's, I should be able to pick Russian. And you can choose a language icon. Uh, you can override these if you care to get into the file system, but we're going to actually stick with Russia. It's not Ukraine. And now we need to select a page for all the Russian content to live with it. That's why we made this page first. So go ahead and select it. And we're going to add a content section. Well, now you can see that uh, Russian shows up here on the list. And um, the Concrete 5 site is aware that everything under that page that we made is what we're going to consider Russian. But we still need to move some pages over. So let's go down a little bit. And you can see there's this tool, Copy Language Tree. What this lets us do is take all the pages in one language section and compare them to another and copy over anything that's new. So let's copy from English over to Russian. All right. So now if I return to the website, you can see here's another Russian flag. Uh, if I click that, we jumped over to a home page. There's nothing on it yet, but we can tell that we're in Russian. So let's go back over. We made that page from scratch. If there was content, it would show up. But if we go into this about section, this was the one page that existed underneath the home for all these languages before. And when we did that copy tree command, can see it will have copied over all this content. So now we're on the Russian version of the About This website page, and this is ready to be translated.